ನಮೋ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರಸಾಯ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಶಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ನಾಮಿನೆ ನಾಮ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರಸಾಯ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಶಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ ನಾಮಿನೆ ನಾಮಸೆ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ದೇವಿ ಗೌರವಾನಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಣೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದಿ ಪಶ್ಚಾತಿ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಕದಾ ಶಿವಾಸತಿ ಗೋ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಬೋ ಹೇಳಿ ಬಾಡಿ ಲಾಕ್ಡೌನ್ ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರಿ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರಿ ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರಿ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರಿ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರಿ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರಿ ಗೋವಿಂದ 
गोपाल जय जय राधा रमण हरि गोविंद जय जय हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय राधा गोकुल नंद राधा गोकुल नंद राधे श्री राधा गोकुलंद की सीताराम लक्ष्मण हनुमान की गुरंताय की प्रभात की
Hare Krishna. <coughs> Hare Krishna. So yeah, thank you for, yeah, we're going to have a Bhagavad Gita class now, every day at 6 o'clock. Um, we have a Bhagavad Gita class where we go through each verse, uh, one by one. Uh, yes, like that. So we'll just get started with some um, bhajans. Jai Radha Madhava. If you know, you can join along. Uh, <coughs> Jaya Radha Madhava Jaya Kunjabi Yasho Dhanandana Bhaja Janaranjana Yamuna Tira Vanachari Yamuna Tira Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, 
श्री श्री राधा गोकुलनंद भगवान की सीताराम लक्ष्मण हनुमान की श्री श्री गोवर निताय की शिला प्रभुपाद की Today we're reading from um, chapter six of the Bhagavad Gita, um, verse thirty-eight. So, yeah, if you have that, you can search it on your phones. If you uh, if you don't have a book, and um, yeah, you can just type in Bhagavad Gita as it is, six point three eight. So, I can recite the Sanskrit, and if you want, you can follow afterwards. कच्चन भया विभ्रष्टास चिन्ना भ्रमिवनाश्यति अप्रतिष्ठो महाबाहो विमुद्धो ब्रह्मना पथि कच्चन भया विभ्रष्टास चिन्ना भ्रमिवनाश्यति अप्रतिष्ठो महाबाहो विमुद्धो ब्रह्मना पथि कच्चनो भया विभ्रष्टास चिन्ना ब्रह्म इवनाश्यति अप्रतिष्ठो महाबाहो विमुद्धो ब्रह्मना पथि कच्चनो भया विभ्रष्टास चिन्ना ब्रह्म इवनाश्यति कच्चनो भया विभ्रष्टास चिन्ना ब्राह्मी वनाश्यति अपात्रिष्ठो महाबाहो विमुद्धो ब्रह्मना पथि सो वर्ड फॉर वर्ड ट्रांसलेशन कचित वेदर ना नॉट उभया बोथ विवरष्ठा डिविएटेड फ्रॉम Chinna, torn, abram, cloud, eva, like, nashyati, perishes. Apratishtha, without any position. Mahabaho, O mighty armed Krishna. Vimuddha, bewildered. Brahmana, of transcendence. Pathi. On the path. Translation and purport by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhakti Varanta, Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada ki. So, <clears throat> o mighty armed Krishna, does not such a man who is bewildered from the path of transcendence fall away from both spiritual and material success and perish like a riven cloud with no position in any sphere? Uh, you can repeat after me. O mighty armed Krishna, does not such a man who is bewildered from the path of transcendence fall away from both spiritual and material success and perish like a riven cloud with no position in any sphere? There are two ways to progress. Those who are materialists have no interest in transcendence. Therefore, they are more interested in material advancement by economic development or in promotion to the higher planets by appropriate work. When one takes to the path of transcendence, one has to cease all material activities and sacrifice all forms of so-called material happiness. If the aspiring transcendentalist fails, then he apparently loses both ways. In other words, he can enjoy neither material happiness nor spiritual success. He has no position. He is like a riven cloud. 
A cloud in the sky sometimes deviates from a small cloud and joins a big one. But if it is but if it cannot join a big one, then it is blown away by the wind and becomes a non entity in the vast sky. The Brahmanapati is the path of transcendental realization through knowing oneself to be spiritual in essence, part and parcel of the Supreme Lord, who is manifested as Brahman, Param Atma, and Bhagavan. Lord Sri Krishna is the fullest manifestation of the Supreme Absolute Truth, and therefore one who is surrendered to the Supreme Person is a successful transcendentalist. To reach this goal of life through Brahman and Param Atma realization takes many, many births. Bahunam Janmanam Ante. Therefore, the supermost path of transcendental realization is Bhakti Yoga or Krishna consciousness, the direct method. Om Jnanati Mirandasya Jnananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Guruve Namaha Shri Chaitanya Manobhistam Sthapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam Vandeham Shri Rupa Shri Rupam Shri Gurun Vaishnavamscha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Saganal Raghunatham Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Sabadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padhan Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakan Vitam Shra He Krishna Karuna Sindho Dina Bandho Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrinda Vaneshwari Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vancha Kalpa Taru Vyascha Kripa Sindhu Vyayevacha Patitanam Pavenavyo Vaishnavevyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare <laughs> Hare Krishna Thank you all for being here um, so, <clears throat> yeah, this is a great opportunity to speak on Bhagavad Gita, and thanks for the opportunity. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's mainly for my own purification, um, but hopefully something useful might also come out it, of it for you guys also. Usually it gets me to study a little bit more, so, you know, like to do it, so, you know, get into a little bit more than usual. So it's a nice opportunity to kind of uh, do this service like that. So yeah, um, here is a really, um, we're in the sixth chapter of the Bhagavad Gita where Arjuna, uh, Krishna and Arjuna are having conversation and um, yeah, so, so far, you know, chapter two, we know that, you know, Krishna has explained to Arjuna that we're not the body, we're not the mind, we're not the intelligence, we're not this false ego. You know, like that. So, and our um, eternal position is that we're spiritual souls, um, spiritual beings. Now, yeah, what does that really mean? You know, so the Bhagavad Gita explains that uh, we have a physical body, and subtle body, and the spiritual body. So, like that spiritual spark within us. So. Spiritual realization is all about knowing oneself, you know, it's the path of getting in touch with ourselves and understanding our essence of who we are. So we can understand this by kind of asking ourselves, who am I? 
this is the first step in, in a spiritual journey, like that, who am I, you know? So, you know, you may ask many people, you know, they'll say, yeah, I'm a, yeah, I'm a Tesco's manager, something like that, or, <laughs> you know, I'm a, yeah, I'm Bob, I'm this and that, you know, it may be many different answers. <laughs> I'm this, I'm that. They usually say I'm their position, you know, I'm this, I, I work for this company, I'm a family man, I'm a father, I'm a mother, I'm a, I'm a daughter, I'm a sister, I'm a brother, like that. You know, there's many different identities and roles that we play in the world, many different uh, acts, many different faces we have in society. And yeah, we may also have an identity based on the country we're born in. I'm, uh, I'm from Nepal, so, you know, I'm Nepalese, um, like that, you know, we're for, all from different parts of the world, so we may identify as being um, part of some country like that, um, some country, some race, um, and also, we may also identify ourselves according to our ideas, our beliefs, our gender, our political views. I'm a conservative or a labor, liberal, yeah, liberal, okay, you know, like that. So we have many different identities we uh, subscribe to, um, yeah, but actually, yeah, it is true in one sense. We are a father, we are a student, we are all these different roles, but that's not the ultimate, that's not our that's not really who we are. It's a role that we play. It's an act almost. We're put into that position and we act in that way. Um, but rather, before that, there's a more of a primal being that we are. And um, that's beyond the body. Uh, so, and beyond our mental identity, beyond our psychophysical nature. No. So I can ask you a question, like, okay, if I ask you, are you, your eye? <clears throat> are you your eyes or are you seeing through your eyes, right? So what, what, what do you say? Seeing. seeing through your eyes, right? Okay, just checking. And uh, are you your ears or are you hearing through your ears? Hearing. hearing through your ears, right? Or you may say, are you your skin or are you feeling and experiencing the world through your skin? Yeah. Right, okay, yeah. So yeah, like that, we can see that there's something more to us than just this external vessel, an instrument to experience the, the medium to the external world. Yeah. And uh, so, so we can see that we're something behind this lens that we see through. There's a consciousness, there's an observer beyond these lens, beyond these instruments. So, um, so like that. So, but many of us misidentify, thinking that this is who I am. This is me, you know? And our whole life revolves around this identity of who we are. And um, yeah, and that, that will, you know, change throughout time. You know, we may have certain position and that, that is bound to change, you know? It's not, it's not really, going to last so long. It's all temporary positions. So the deeper understanding is that, um, actually even deeper, you may think, okay, I'm my mind. But even that, we can understand that we're not the mind. Because if we look closely, we're having, we're actually the observer of our thoughts also. So can we really say that we are our thoughts, our, we are our mind? Because we observe closer, we have so many thoughts. And uh, those thoughts, we may not even... Uh, like, you know, and I can't even believe that's, you know, can I really believe that's me? No way, man. That's just something that's coming from the external environment, like that, or from my previous um, conditioning, what, what not, you know? So it's not really who I am. So even our mind, our, our thoughts, our feelings, they're not really representative of who we really are. So yeah, so the main thing about um, spiritual realization is that, yeah, we're the soul, we're the conscious observer, the consciousness is the symptom of the soul, like that. So, hey, and uh, there are people who 
materialists they they are they're more striving for activities in the material world where a spiritualist is seeking um here it says uh where is it it says brahmana pati someone on the path of transcendence so someone who's walking this path of transcendence trying to trying to uh revive his or- original position as the spiritual soul who is part and parcel of the divine supreme spiritual soul which is krishna in the full manifestation as is described in the purport so here in this verse uh, arjun is actually having a doubt that you know actually arjun has a few doubts already by at this point um which is not a bad thing he's asking to find out more and um so the first doubt he had previously was um Arjuna is describing to him all the methods of uh spiritual practice controlling the mind controlling uh the senses following this process that process sitting in such a way in a secluded place alone you know describing different processes of yoga do's and do nots then Arjuna straight up he's like I'm sorry Krishna but this is this sounds impossible for me it's it's uh, undurable um Yeah, I don't think it's possible. It's too sounds too difficult. I, I don't think I can do that. Then again, he's Krishna gives him some encouragement and now again he's saying, what if I fall away from this path of transcendence? What if um yeah. What if uh, I don't make it? I don't get the full result. So what will happen to me? Will I is in such a man he won't get any material happiness and also he won't get any spiritual happiness. So the reason why he's thinking like this is because um in terms of material happiness I think in this context Arjuna is generally thinking about the heavenly planets and also mentions economic development in the purport so many people do different activities to get to different positions according to their karma they they are granted uh they granted different results uh so for example in the heavenly planets um more good works that you do you kind of enter these realms like that um so and uh yeah so so by performing spiritual activity it means for arjuna he's thinking that it means that he's not doing any karma he's not doing any material activities that will gain him any fruitive results in this world he's not making a any progress in his material life um yeah like that and uh but at the same time he's bewildered from the path of transcendence so he falls away from the journey of the path like that and um and he's described he's like a riven cloud so so a riven cloud is um it's like a cloud here it says uh chinna bhram eva nashyati so there's a big cloud imagine there's a big cloud and the part of it tears away you know as it does uh, um in the sky um it tears away but generally actually these clouds the small parts of the cloud they they can join another cloud like that so imagine a, the small cloud is like the material world and we try to discharge ourselves from it in uh seizing our, from all sense gratification all types of enjoyment that we may be we could get in the spirit in the material world all the fame all the money all the honey <laughs> all the you know but um yeah so we detach ourselves from all these things and we slowly aiming for the big cloud which is the spiritual world which is a uh, full of more honey than you could imagine but it's what happens on the path the wind gets in the way you know the wind blows the cloud away there's other influences that come in the way and the journey isn't as smooth and it fails to reach the big cloud the spiritual world so this may happen due to many reasons initially one may not have been so in the previous verse prabhu describes that one may not have been so serious in the path to begin with so it, it detaches all this 
there's many other reasons. He's declaring a war against Maya. So the material world is also going to fight back. And uh, it's not going to be easy. And uh, yeah, many different reasons are described. So that way we become neither here or there, you know. But this is actually just a doubt Arjuna has. But is it actually true that uh, a spiritualist becoming detached from material happiness doesn't get spiritual happiness in there? He doesn't get the goal. He doesn't even get the material happiness like that. But um, actually, this may not be the case. So if we, the conception is that, yeah, we're missing out. We're missing out on uh, so much happiness that we could get in the material world. All the women, the money, the fame, the beauty, economic, you know, all the things we could buy, and possessions, um, like that. But actually, Shri Shri Radha Gokulananda Bhagwan Ki, Sitaram Lakshman Hanuman Ki, Shri Shri Gaur Nitai Ki, Jai. So yeah, actually, okay, are we really missing out? I don't know, let's see. So, actually a better question would be to ask, how are these guys, how are these brahmacharis, sannyasis and yogis, how are they actually able to live without any material things? How are they actually doing it? You know, I can't even get off my phone. How are they able to do such a thing? How can they give up all material happiness? How is it that they... It doesn't make sense, you know, from a materialist pers perception view. They're wearing bed sheets, their shaved hair. Their whole identity is, you know, different from the norm. So actually, it should actually give us a shock when... It should give materialists a shock, actually. How... how but yet they still seem more happier than me. Um, like that. He's not watching any movies. He doesn't go to the cinema. He doesn't go for bowling. He doesn't go to the pub. He doesn't uh, do any drugs. He doesn't drink. Um, he doesn't party. So, and his life seems so difficult. He's waking up at 4 a.m. every day. Maybe. But, Still, having some, having some foothold in spiritual life, whatever it is, it seems to make such a big difference in our life. Um, so the real question to ask is, how are these guys still happy? What is going on? Um, actually, in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna explains, um, chapter 2, Vishaya vinivartante niraharasya dehinam Rasavarjam rasopyasya param drishtva nivartate. So yes, uh, though the embodied soul may be restricted from sense enjoyment, you know, we're not engaging so many material activities, and yes, there may be um, certain incentives, incentives, or sometimes we may be, um, you know, prov provoked or kind of poked a little bit, to kind of, oh, maybe try this, try that. But actually because someone on the path of transcendence is always staying in the fire of uh, Krishna consciousness, of um, bhakti, staying connected to bhakti shakti, um, which is transcendental, it's not a material energy, like, a, like the three modes of material nature that we have, is completely different from this mundane world. So we're connecting to that, and that gives us a higher taste. Uh, and this, because of this higher taste, we're able to give up these lower tastes like that. And uh, that way we can stay, remain fixed. So we can see that we... <clears throat> so yeah, we can see that actually are, we're only able to give up these things because we have something more. We have something deeper connected, right? like that. And uh, there's a famous story from um, about Sanatan Goswami and the touchstone uh, where one Brahmana, he 
Um, he, you know, Lord Shiva, he's like a very wish fulfilling, you know, he fulfills your desires. If anyone wants to come to him, he's like, yeah, okay, fine, you know, yeah, he's pleased easily. So many people actually go to him to get something, you know, benedictions, some boon. Um, so this one Brahmana, he was uh, praying and he asked Lord Shiva, can, I want the best benediction you can give me. So actually, Lord Shiva told him, okay, if you want the best benediction, I know who has it. You go and see this Sanatan Goswami. Sanatan Goswami. So he goes to see Sanatan Goswami and he tells him, yes, uh, Lord Shiva said that you have the best benediction that you could give me. And I see, and he's, you know, he knocked on the door or something, and he sees that he actually had a touchstone. Touchstone is Chintamani. It's a gem. Um, Chintamani gem. It's a gem that can convert iron into gold. So just by touching it. So wow, you know, he saw this, and he was like, yeah, this must be it. This is why Lord Shiva sent me here. He wants me to have this. Chintamani go, and this way all my, all my um, economic needs will be fulfilled. I can get much more. All my, I'll be, I'll be like floating, you know. You know, it's like I'll be flying. <laughs> so he thought that, you know, oh, and he, you know, asked Sanatan Goswami, yeah, I want, I want this touchstone. Can you give it to me? Uh, Lord Shiva said, you have something, but it was actually in the bin. Sanatan Goswami just doing his, I don't know, chanting or whatever reading, writing. He said, it's just in the, yeah, if you want it, it's just there, it's just in the bin, you can go get it. And he said, yeah, oh my God, I got it. He got it and, he, and he's walking back, he's very happy and yeah, he's dreaming about all the things he could buy, all the material thing. you know, he's fully, he's sorted, you know, if you have money, it's like, he's thinking like that. So yeah, I got the best thing. Then he starts slowing down, he's like, oh wait, why would he put it in the bin? If it's such a valuable object, why did he have it in the bin? There must be something more. He must have something more. I need to, I want the best thing. I want to get that thing, whatever it is, the best thing. It, it can't be this. There must be something else he's hiding. So he goes back and he, he says again, and uh, I want, I know this isn't it, you're hiding something. And Sanatan Goswami is like, are you sure you want to know what it is? Are you ready for it? If you, want, if you want that highest thing, then throw away this touchstone, Chintamani stone. Throw it away in the ocean. And yes, yeah, so the Brahman being eager to find out something more, he uh, threw, the, threw it in the ocean somewhere. So if you want to find it, good luck. It's probably out there somewhere. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, if you want to be rich. <laughs> Apparently, there's also a mountain of gold somewhere in the uh, Himalayan Tibet region as well. So if that's also there somewhere, if you want to, you know, mountain of gold. Apparently, there's. I've heard in some sources like that. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so he goes back to Sanatan Goswami, and he finds out um, from him that the best gift, benediction I have. It's actually the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Um, so you take it, and uh, this will give you um, transcendental bliss beyond anything in the material world. It will connect you to the spiritual world, connect you to Krishna, and uh, it's the nectar that which we're always anxious for, and that will make us relieved. And uh, also, it will also free us from the material world, from the cycle of repetition of birth and death. Because the, um, yes, it is also that the Hare Krishna mantra is also the greatest gift, but it's also the greatest weapon. Meaning that, uh, yes, a nuclear weapon may be powerful. It can destroy, it can destroy, yeah, Anything to dust, anything, bones, skin, flesh, everything is wiped away. Whole nation can be wiped away. I heard in uh, Hiroshima, like something like, maybe like 200, I can't remember the exact 
numbers, but 200,000 people were just destroyed like that from the nuclear weapon. Um, so yeah, it has a great power. However, the, the Hare Krishna mantra is more powerful than the nuclear weapon because the nuclear weapon cannot destroy subtle energies. It cannot destroy the subtle desires within our heart. It cannot destroy these anathas. So we're very fortunate that we have such a weapon against Maya and we should really take advantage of this and chant so we can purify our, purify our hearts yeah, and connect deeper to Krishna like that, become more purified. Yeah, so, <coughs> so um, something. Check my notes. <coughs> yeah, and also Arjuna is also uh, wrong in other ways in his doubts that um, a spiritualist on the path who falls away because he's assuming that you need to achieve the destination you need to actually get to the goal to be successful in spiritual life actually as uh, Krishna explains in the Bhagavad Gita uh, uh, chapter 9 Raja Vidya Raja Guyam Pavitram Idam Uttamam Pratyaksha Bhagamam Dharmyam Susukham Kartum Abhyayam so he's saying, yeah, this is the purest of knowledge, perfection of religion, but at the same time, it is joyfully performed. Right? Um, so actually, yeah, you don't need to, because performing bhakti is, uh, is the goal, and it, but it's also the process, like that. So just by engaging that, we get that, we get the taste, we get the higher taste, and we become joyful. And yeah, it's not going to be easy. It's not, uh, nothing in life is easy if you want to be successful in something. Even an athlete, he has to wake up early. He has to abstain from alcohol, drugs, to be successful, to be healthy. So yeah, nothing in life will come easy. And uh, if materialists are working so hard, we, maybe we can strive to work just as hard as them for spiritual spiritual benefits uh, yeah and um, and uh, yeah so another thing is that material happiness searching for material happiness doesn't always result in success because yeah we may have a dream job we may have yeah, so we may we go for that, but uh, it may not fulfill our expectations like that, and we're always disappointed, and we always end up become frustrated, despite all the hard work we put into material success. It doesn't produce spiritual results. It doesn't make us spiritually happy. So it is said that material life is material life is difficult. Um, yeah, to uh, achieve material success is difficult. Sorry, spiritual life is difficult. Spiritual life can be difficult. Um, however, material life is impossible to be happy in. It always results in some frustration, and eventually, sooner or later, it will result in frustration. Like that. Yeah. Do you guys have any questions at this point? So, <coughs> any reflections? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. <coughs> Fighting against the going to war or how? 
Yeah, so so Prabhu's question was, uh, yes, we have to fight Maya. Maya is fighting back to distract us, uh, allure us from, uh, from our spiritual journey. So what is the mood we should have in fighting Maya? Um, one thing that comes to mind is that um, Krishna says that this divine energy of mine is um, very difficult to overcome. But one who surrenders unto me can easily cross beyond it. So the mood we should have is not by trying to fight Maya according to our own strengths, but uh, asking, being, um, yeah, so asking Krishna, being helpless, that Krishna, you're my only shelter. I can't do this on my own. I can't, because uh, this is your energy. How can I? I'm just an insignificant spark. I'm just an insignificant spark of your energy and Maya is so powerful. I, I can't do this on my own. I need your help. Please give me your shelter. Because, yeah, we can't. We're so tiny. We, what can we do against this? We're being controlled by Maya all the time. So, yeah, we should really have that prayerful mood that uh, Krishna, I'm just an insignificant spark. Um, yeah, like that. Please help me to... Yeah, and that's the mood we should we should be crying out when we're chanting the Hare Krishna mantra, like uh, it is Prabhupada in one of his. Uh, yes, yeah, one of the first things I heard from Prabhupada on YouTube when I first heard the there's a there's a kirtan and Prabhupada explains how this like just mantra just like a child crying out for his mother, like that. Uh, yeah, so I hope that's something. Yeah. Yeah. Any reflections for you? Anything you want to add? Or? So the um, Prabhu is asking, uh, what, so yeah, Arjun is in this doubt that what happens to the person after he can't carry on the spiritual journey and he falls away due to some distraction. Uh, he says in the verse, due to worldly mindedness, he becomes distracted by many things. So yeah, the answer is given in um, the next eight verses of the Gita, after following this Krishna answers all of his doubts like that um, so yeah there's never any loss in spiritual progress and uh, you always pick up where you li live like that so yeah you may have a temporary fr you may freeze your spiritual credit may freeze but actually there's always ready to be picked up Krishna's always there waiting for you to turn back um, so it could be a few years, may, sometimes it may happen, devotees stop practicing. But eventually, yeah, they, may, they can always turn back. Maybe, but it's all a temporary thing at the end of the day. I think what I really like is um, having a vision of eternity. I heard this from, I think, Shruti Dharma Prabhu and Keshav Maharaj mentions it sometimes, having this vision of eternity that, yeah, eternally, we may be temporarily, you know, in a situation, but, uh, you know, We'll, our progress will continue like that. Uh, sorry, but the answer is more clearly described in the verses following, which I can't remember exactly. Uh, yeah, you always pick up. You're either born in a family of transcendentalists or somewhere you're brought, up, brought about in a position where you can carry on with your spiritual life. So it's never a failure, yeah. 
and also um, even in our day to day life we may have um, successes and failures we may have ups and downs in spiritual life we may not always you know we may fail chanting our rounds completely and uh, uh, following principles and uh, but actually there's a really nice analogy of the plane airplane that when an airplane is going to its destination there's the goal and there's the planned route that the airplane is supposed to go on um, however what may happen is that due to some unforeseen circumstances like the weather or lightning or whatnot, the plane actually doesn't go its planned route so it's always going out of the route and it's always coming back and out and in and but as long as the main thing is still going forwards towards that destination and um, yeah, it's, uh, just to elaborate more on this, um, yeah, we may deviate, but I think we should always try to keep that mind on the go. We may we may have ups and downs, but that's okay as long as we keep on carrying on. As long as you have some foothold in Krishna consciousness in some way or other, you know, it can make the it can save you from the greatest danger, having some connection to Krishna consciousness like that as well. I met this one person on the street once and he used to, be, I mean, he's still practicing and he said, over my life, he's old, you know, he's quite senior, he said, I, I stopped practicing in and out but I realized that having just one foothold on Krishna consciousness saved me from so much, just a little, you know, like that. So he's very appreciative like that. And uh, one, uh, one thing is that um, <clears throat> When we practice bhakti yoga, it's different to when we're trying to reach the goal through ashtanga yoga or jnana yoga. Because uh, in ashtanga yoga, you have to go to a secluded place. You have to, you know, you're there alone um, following the process. And in jnana yoga, it's also the, I think it's the same. Um, but in bhakti yoga, it's really powerful because, yes, we're trying to endeavor for Krishna. But at the same time, there's also mercy from Krishna trying to help us to come to him. Whereas in the other processes, we're trying to reach Brahman or Paramatma on our own. So it's on our own endeavor, but in Bhakti, there's Krishna's mercy. And also um, the association of the devotees um, and the lifestyle that we try to, you know, try to follow, like trying to live a more more, more goodness life. It's supposed to be like a safety net so that even if we do have a um, slip we were always in a good uh, footing so we can always come back easily and association of devotees is powerful because obviously without association we can go e either way you know about devotees who can always help you pull you back up pick you back up like that yeah <laughs> Um, so yeah, one thing Krishna will help you in the journey, the mercy will follow you as well, Krishna's mercy will follow you, and also like that, yeah. Yes. Any, any other questions? Yeah, sure. Uh, any comments, reflection, anything you would like to share? Uh, you said um, during that process also there's mercy involved. So it's not the responsibility of the trying to attain spiritual success uh, is to do something wrong or not to say be a good devotee and not to chant or you know, to turn into a good devotee. So um, how can we be aware uh, and like uh, uh, hold on? How can we realize that in our old moments, difficult moments, 
are where also it is also the mercy of the Lord. Mm. Um, any thoughts from the devotees? Chris Pru? Okay, so we accept the process or? So we should um, have faith first and the knowledge comes afterwards, the realization comes afterwards. Fine, so we just accept that it's Krishna's mercy. We just have faith that it, yep. it may not look like it, it may, it may not feel like it, but uh, Krishna, I trust you. I, I have faith in you that you have a bigger plan in this. And it can be hard to do that, especially yeah. today, you can be really desperate. And you could have some really awful karma that you need to pay back. Mm. Um, yeah. So it's difficult to do you it. You put through the ring, and Krishna's going to test it. Do you really want me, or do you want me so I can give you some nice little material thing? So, yeah. Fine, okay. yeah. Faith is the most important thing because what's going to come might not make any sense, you might not think you deserve it, but mm. at the end of the day, you both need to react. This is how it is. You're God, I'm not, I surrender, and that's what it is for. Right. Nice, nice. Thank you so much for sharing that. Yeah. It's time for Gorati. Thank you so much for being here, tolerating. <laughs> Hare Krishna, thank you. Srila Prabhupada Ki
Krishnaya Bhutare Shrimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Ette Namine
Haribo, all glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to the assembled devotees. All glories, all glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to Shri Guru and Shri Goranga and all glories to Shri Prabhupada. So if you can remain seated, we'll do the Nashringa Dev prayers now. So five minutes or so. Then there's also Mahaprasadam outside, just in the reception. Namaste Narasimhaya Namaste Narasimhaya Namaste Narasimhaya Namaste Narasimhaya Namaste Narasimhaya
ನರಸಿಂಹಮದಿಂ ಶರಣ ಪ್ರಪದೆ ಕವಕರ ಕಮಲವರೆ ನಖೂತ ಶೃಂಗ ದಲಿತ ಹಿರಣ್ಯ ಕಶಿಪು ತನು ವೃಂಗ ಕೇಶವದ್ರೀತ ನರಹಾರಿ ರೂಪ ಜಯ ಜಗದೀಶ ಹರೆ ಜಯ ಜಗದೀಶ ಹರೆ ಜಯ ಜಗದೀಶ ಹರೆ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹದೇವ್ ಠೀಕ